playing just a step ahead of him at every interaction that they did right there. Yeah, the recoveries, yeah. the defensive game in neutral. And we're about to go to Ling Ling and Sibber right now. Like, how do you think this might go? The last Ooh. time I seen it, Ling Ling was in Grants the last time he went to Encore. And I know he doesn't consistently go to the weeklies. I, whenever he does, he, he puts he, in the work. But right. today is extra stack. And I don't know if these two have played before. I don't know what their record is. Right. But honestly, right now, this is looking pretty dang impressive. I'm expecting for a game five on Oh, oh he's, dead. Dead. he's gone, dude. dude. Oh, my God. Zero to death from Ling Ling. He came to play today. My, my man was warming up. Doing dancing, dancing with his fingers and everything, and it cost him this first stock of the set right here. I'm expecting uh, back to what I was saying. I was I'm expecting a game five, the very least, based off how good these players are. I don't know if Syrup is fully PR'd at Jersey. I could be wrong, but I he mean, is, he's a very known player throughout yeah, the entire tri-state. In for his sure. own right, he is he has had the results, right? Uh, especially in the online era, but even <laughs> offline, he still uh, is, has put in a ton oh of work God. and has a Amazing, just wins to back it up. Honestly, that is when I first heard about him too, because his first I think in, in my experience, he came in when tweaking him was online, and I was like, "Who's this syrup kid?" And I thought this was when Best Nest changed his target to that. To put it simply, hilarious. I like the move in the end. Mm -hmm. Damn, I'm sick of all these Smash prodigies. <laughs> Come on, when, 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 is, when, is, when is some freaking 32-year-old guy who's, who ha, works his uh, job and then is just Yo. like, you know what, I'm going to get into Smash. It just gets really into it and finally puts up oh the result. God. You know, when, where's, where's, where's my own relatable story? Nah, I'm a bad, yo, because I'm not even going to bring up too much things in the mic because the, the way I've been seeing Twitter act up lately, that was so <laughs> bizarre. Guy? What? He just like microspaced pixels over. That yep. up smash, Everyone's dude. microspacing today is looking really crazy today, man. I need to get up to this microspacing level. But Ling Ling on Seraph's second stock, he also sniped him with another turn up. So Ling Ling's already catching on to the way how Seraph's recovering. He's trying to show him that you can't just casually do whatever you want when you're off the stage. You have to acknowledge my presence. Oh my god, you had to acknowledge these texts too, because you're going you gonna get the crown slap. Oh my god, my fault, my fault, Sarah. You're doing yeah. these movements all over him and all that. If we're gonna talk about what this <laughs> matchup is looking like, this is really interesting because Ness has so many good buttons. Right. And we're seeing throw Syrup throw them out. And the kind of Ling Ling has just been dancing around them. He's trying to find those tiny gaps in between threading the needle. And honestly, he's been doing a pretty dang good job of it. Syrup at 110%. <laughs> is he about to get hit with another one of them turnips? I'm no. Loving the edge. I love the way how Ling Ling's edge guarding him. Because he's not fully going off the stage to challenge any of Ness's great buttons right there. But he's also acknowledging that, like, yo, look, I got this veggie right here. You recover at one wrong angle. I got this ready. And you somehow air dodge it. I'm going to just cover that option. He also did that the last time he was at our um, Encore's Grand Finals. He, I've, I've, I've noticed he's been really practicing his edge guardings phenomenally. I, like, against anybody he's been doing. Most people that play against Peach, they'll just go, okay. She's going to flow right here. I'm going to just take my time and avoid it. But playing at higher level players, they're going to know how to time their ledge options and get away. And Ling Ling's catching on even into that level with a back air out of shield. Yeah, no, that was that, that was like sort of he was throwing out all these neutral airs. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that it felt like he had not really shown the back air, despite the fact that's definitely what he was looking right. to do. <laughs> that neutral air has such little end lag that – Syrup just ca he caught him dropping shield. Syrup was like, "Oh, I can hit him." I <laughs> can't. Honestly, the way how I've seen it, it was just it was just a, a contest of who could press better buttons. Cause Ness got some good buttons. Don't get me wrong, but Peach don't. I'd say that like no. <laughs> Ness has like aggressive buttons. Yeah, uh, he has very and I don't fast frame Peach, data looking buttons out. Peach like. is like I feels like her buttons require more. It's like almost like they require setup, you know? Yeah. I mean, there are, there are peaches are on the technical side. Like, if you don't get your flow cancels on deck and all that, you're going to have a, a tremendous hard time just doing anything. Did you see the way he managed to... He Okay. Like, they're just, like, <laughs> barely outside of each other's range, and then you have the tiniest little one single hit finally managing to poke it My man was through. playing basketball with his flow cancels and daring at the same time. I actually never seen Sour Spot in there in my life. Fair, yep. Yo, how funny is it that these characters have the same neutral air? <laughs> Ness is just bigger. Ness, Ness is, is just a peach clone, dude. Ness is just, I, I'm your son. 
You're my, you're my son, kid. Yo, Peach is nasty. Oh, that, that, that the flow cancel theory. jump turn up catch was nasty, too. Hold up. Ling Ling still got some movements going on right now. This ain't over yet. Wow. Oh, my God. The spacing from these two players is still going crazy. And this is game two. <laughs> this is, I love the fact this is high octane spacing. This is not somebody like sort of like, this is not a cloud just throwing out back air. Throwing right. out back air. No, they are dancing around each other. And they're, they're really <laughs> varying up the move that they're choosing to use. Yeah. Like right there, that back air just so good catching the side B. Ooh, but good punish from Ling Ling out the ledge. I like the fact that now we are in this side of the game. They need to figure out how to get the kill. Then again, Ness's kill power, he has some of the most consistent kill power. Cyril can oh, just take his time game. at some point. He's like, you know, like uh, right now he's staying on the stage. He's not challenging Peach off the stage because he knows once he goes off the stage and misspaces one little thing, it could be GG's from there to the next stock. But I like what Syrup's doing, the fact that he's utilizing not just the sweet spot of PK Thunder, but like using the tail to threaten the range of like, all right, if you get hit right here, you're dead. And <gasps> Peach is kind of, oh my God. Oh. All right, good. His side B usages are really good too. That's the third side B in a row that actually saved him at a crucial scenario. <laughs> I'm missing that. Hold on, let me get a veggie real quick. I need, I need to throw something at your little fast button. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that interruption with the down tilt was so good. But oh, oh, barely manages to get out of that forward air range right yeah. there. Yeah, that was, I think, also maybe some questionable to the eye. I don't know if he would have been survived, able to survive it regardless. My man was at, like, 165 with the tip of third. But Fair. it was also a rageless nest. And in general, the multi-hit moves are the ones that scale really well with rage. Right. So at lower percents, they're not as uh, effective at killing. Either way, we're going back to the same stocks that they have right here from this. This is looking a little similar to game one, but just a faster pace. Okay. Showing off the turn on catches mean, on, real quick. Honestly, no. This is like so neck and neck. In that game one, Ling Ling had such a massive lead to start. It felt like he was just absolutely dominating. But oh, here, yeah. it is just, they, they are <laughs> such, you see the equal. Sir, it's like, them. I'm just going to press buttons at the better space. Like, game, the way how game one, like, Sarah's. Sarah tends to like take his time adjusting the way how he's going to feel comfortable in the later runs. But the minute game two and up happens, Sarah gets a lot of momentum off the, based off these players. I think that was the second time he's gotten forward air and was not great on DI. Yeah. I feel like he should not have died from that forward air. I could be wrong. Yeah, that time was just a raw back air right there. And back air is slightly stronger than fair. Oh, was so that, that back air? Yeah, that was back air. Never turned, mind. Yeah, that he turned around. Kill yeah, him, he yeah. did a move right. and immediately did a pivot back air. I, I miss saw. So, yeah, back air will kill because back air is ridiculous. So is that crown oh. from the ledge. <laughs> Every time I see that crown, I pray, please miss with your laggy elbows. <gasps> oh. No jump. Forced to go you for the, the early up beat. There's oh. no way you're avoiding that, buddy. Yeah. Great DI, though, oh but God. he's going to have to go through it again just as it happens. <gasps> I'll do it again. <laughs> Yo, the surviving. The fact he got Ling -ling past that. got away with murder. That's actually crazy. Every other piece would have died right there. I think the reason why Syrup let go is because I'm pretty sure the hitbox gets ever so slightly bigger yeah. when you release it. And I think he was relying on that. In the Ooh, end, it doesn't matter. The Clean's, upper is going to yep. take it anyway. I feel like the way Peach can get out of that is like her, if she was just a little under it. Like he came from the side and it made his recovery a lot harder. And I'm glad that Syrup made him uncomfortable with that. But I feel like Peach only has like very... Little answers to that. It's like, Honestly, is he I under, feel like it comes use down the, to RNG. You in, using the parasuits, hitboxes, clashing with the yo-yo. I don't know if they, they interact like that, though. I know there's some oh. other characters that, like, you know how yo-yo can just be on the ledge and it's a very big multi-hitbox? Yes. And if you're another character that has another multi-hit, it can clash with it and the hitbox goes away from Nessa's yo-yo. Really? Yo -yo. But no, I thought that, because the thing is that it's, uh, when you're in the air, it doesn't clash, right? No, like it's not um, a for example, like if Ness is on the stage and he does down near down smash charge, and if you're a character, well I guess Wolf, because Wolf's up B is a little multi hitting. Nine out of ten times it will just go through the ledge and it will just snap. And now it comes to the rock paper scissors game where it's like, alright, is he still gonna hold it or is he gonna let it go and I can come back to the stage safely? Mm. I feel like Ling Ling can do something similar to that with Parasol, because Parasol is a very disjointed hitbox when you're never expecting it either. Ooh, all right, up your strings. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh. You gotta love Battlefield. I actually rarely see Ness Battlefield combos, and Syrup is really showing me he can make it work too. Turn up to Ashgard, make him go, make him uncomfortable. Ooh, all right. Down smash. Nice melee down smash from Ling Ling coming through. Yeah, it didn't do 50 like it would have melee, <laughs> and that's another one of those. 
so good. Going right back into game one yeah. struts. Yeah, exactly. We just, <laughs> I feel like in that situation, there's not really much that Syrup could have done. Also, I'm loving these auto-cancel uh, side Bs because it, we actually saw in the last game that Ling Ling is not only using them, you know, as a, you know, just a hitbox, a yeah. neutral option, he'll but, use he, but when he feels like he's in the corner, he'll throw it out and it will get him out of the corner. I'm trying to, I don't remember which exact patch was it, but that's because one of the patches buffed her side B. Either, I think it either made it stronger. Oh, no, they made it. They didn't do nothing to the damages and stuff. They just made it easier to grab the ledge with it. So I'm assuming that's the main reason why Ling Ling would use it as a movement option. Because you can't really, you can barely mess that up anymore. It's yeah. mainly a spacing tool at this point. Ooh. Oh, okay. I like the setup he tried to go for. Oh, this is reminding me of game one. Syrup has been uber lapped mm -hmm. in percent. Oh, back dominant. here. It's, I think we might see another three to one stock lead. Ah, uh, Miss Spaces the turn up throw, but Ling Ling still got the stage advantage. How are we going to land? Backs it up, but gets the sour spot of it. Okay. Oh, this Double is where P happen. struggles to land. <laughs> and she has a very laggy air dodge, and the dash attack is not going to take it quite yet. Good DI from Syrup. Down smash? Okay, I thought he was going to faint him out. I'm looking for the faint. Oh, he wants to back it up. <laughs> Look at this facing. <laughs> Look at the facing right now between both these players. That board are finally connecting once again. Now he has no float. I don't know if he has a jump either. All right, he gets it all back right now. Good landing from, uh, good spacing from, I was about to call him Mutis, from Ling Ling. <laughs> and again, now it seems to me now, now Ling Ling's making it too predictable that he wants to ob it. Well, he gets it anyway. But I feel like Syrup's already catching on to his defensive plays right now. So now I feel like at this final stock, Ling Ling is going to have to find another way how to kill him besides the back here setup. He might go for like a, a float cancel pivot tomahawk grab, and that's really going to change the meta yes, in its uh, entire setup. The other thing worth noting is that like back air is very versatile, so it's like raw back air might not work, but mm. you can still like sort of pressure into back air. Ooh, that's My man be was brave to just stay there. Oh! Barely spaces it, but the up air is going to catch him off guard from the ledge. All right. Now Ling Ling looking a little shook right That's now, it. even though he has a lead. Yeah. He better hurry up and clean it up. All right. Good backup. Oh. He thought about up smashing and was oh. like, nah, I'm just going to take it from. Oh, wait. Ah! <laughs> way out there. Speaking of side B usage, he uses it at the right time when he was all the way over there with absolutely no recovery resources at all. I like the usage that Ling Ling did right there. It made sure that nothing else was going to come out of that. What was Ness so going to do? He was I, just going to up B early. Well, I mean, so he could have air dodged, right? I'm wondering, though, if he had air dodged, whether... Because then after the air dodge, it takes a while for the cooldown to happen. Exactly. After that point, Ling Ling could have just like gone back and floated into mm -hmm. the up B and eaten it. He would have died you, anyway. He, mind you, he also had float even if he did miss that too. That's what I'm saying. So he could have like, if imagine Ness gets past him, yeah. starts to up B, he just floats right into the PK Thunder. So it was the, the perfect opportunity it. to do that because hypothetically, even if he did miss that side B, I feel like muted. I mean, Ling Ling still had another time to just adjust for his floaty and everything like that. And now Town and City. I am surprised he let this slide going against Ness. Personally, I don't feel comfortable taking Ness to town because he could just kill me with back throw even earlier than normally. No oh, way. good right there. And I like that. Again, Matt, this Honestly, matchup knowledge is coming into play from yeah, Ling Ling right I, there. I feel like one advantage to this stage for Ling Ling is the mo there's so much room. Yeah. There's so much room to really move the way he wants to, to just barely outspace all of N Ness's moves. And look at this. The first side B, he punishes. Congrats. Yeah, it's, I mean, we're already in game four and you're down <laughs> to one, but, you know. But, yeah, nah, I like I like the, the, the fact that minus him edge guarding Syrup generally, I like that he uses the turn up at the right time, too. Instead of just, like, casually throwing it and trying to snipe him off the side, he physically goes to your face and with beaming at your head. And if, the, if Ness's up B's hitbox is already active, it still it trades with the previous hitbox and it makes his recovery even shorter. Yeah. So that really shows that Ling Ling is not afraid to go off stage to show you that he can nerf Ness's recovery by just throwing a turn up at the right time. Good catch from Syrup right there oh, by throwing that right aerial. Oh, uh, barely had enough time, but that's but fine because Ling Ling's gonna still punish him accordingly. Yeah, and it's even when he goes for that turn up, like the edge guard, he still always has enough time to. 
no, right. just be there for the <laughs> ledge trap afterwards. It's almost like this it's man is like a low key minute. genius. He's like, ah, you know, I'm gonna go off stage, threaten you real quick, but if I, in case I miss, I still come back to the stage anyway. Oh, I thought he's gonna yeah. go for the bear right there. He's going for a lot of up airs right now, even though town is a very high ceiling. Yeah, honestly, Ooh. just when you think about games <laughs> one, three, and four. It's just that Lingling Ling was getting these edge guards. Yeah. Lingling Ling has just been doing a really good job of it. Now, actually, we do have even stocks. Ooh. We don't have even stocks anymore. <laughs> I was hitting Jinx. We had even stocks. <laughs> yeah, that's now <laughs> But back to what you were saying, like, it's all, games one, three, and four. Well, actually, this is four. This is literally all bec mainly because he just edge guarded him very sufficiently. And the way how I see Syrup consistently take his stocks, it would just be from Ling Ling's bad somehow bad spacing and he will kill him with like a idj up air or a bear after he lands some type of landing aerial yeah but, but even then it's like at 120 plus range exactly you know? so ling ling's defense is really kicking in right now okay oh my I god was, i was no i was just about to say that i feel like the equalizer would be cheese and i feel like we might see syrup kind of go for cheese because Right now, <laughs> if you kill him with the PK Thunder too, <laughs> it's not even game. But well, it's not about, okay, you talking about the, the PK? I thought you were talking about like the sense, the the sense setup he was gonna go for. Like I would see Sen sometimes do PK Thunder in neutral while he's floating, hit himself on the ground, and bait in an option from your opponent, and just to do another PK Thunder and slap him with it. So <laughs> I thought that's what. Syrup was originally going to go for. Back throw boys is going to take it. Definitely with some wow. max rage coming on. And this is max rage Ness. Center stage at 110. Yeah, he has to be so careful, though. He still has the potential to get lots of damage with a single interaction. Right here, we might see it. We'll keep the up air into up air. PK? Into drag down. Uh, okay. Like drag down. Again, though, starting to really, we're seeing parries all over the place. But higher ceiling on Town and City might actually come in clutch for Syrup. He's not quite dead yet. Actually able to get more damage. Back throw. Back throw. Gonna do I don't it. know if it's going to do it. Oh, nice DI from Syrup. Barely going to make him get it. Oh, I'm surprised throw. Ling Ling ain't like spamming a lot of flow cancels, but it's going to throw it up anyway and get him a 3-1 victory. Yeah, it's like at that point, Syrup was so, he was hungry.